Good evening, ladies. I'm making little pockets that have gussets on them. This is all made out of one book page, but I glued two book pages together because we all know how flimsy they can be. But you can use pretty much any sturdy paper. If it's too thick, I would double up. This is from a art book. But this is my process. It's really simple and not at all complicated. I fold, making sure the bottoms or the straight lines are even, with just enough overlap. So when I glue it, which I should have set my glue up beforehand, but of course, I'm slow. So I glue, come on, glue. Nice bead of glue on each of the ends. So you're sure it won't come up. Okay, then just fold that over. This is my idea of a bone folder because whenever I take my bone folders out, I use them once and I lose them for days. So I allow that to glue and dry. And then you have something like this. Get out of my way. And here, to make the gussets on the side, I just, I mean, I'm sure some of you out there like to measure. I'm the last person on earth to measure and cut. I just fold it in. Crease it good on both ways. Open it up. Force it down. There we are with my, my bone folder. And then same on the other side. And you have gussets on your pockets. Like so. Now don't do like I do sometimes and glue it the wrong way. So flip it over. I fold it. This will be the bottom of the bag of the pocket. And I guess it's sort of a bag. And then I snip from the corner in, nice diagonal, and there again, folding down this side, leaving that side because that's the front now where there's no seam. So you cut off the side where there is the seam. Just Make it as neat as you want. Come on. Out of all the scissors I have, I picked the crappiest pair. You know how that goes. Make sure you're gluing it right side up. And the right way. Come on, I should have laid it on the side. Or get a new bottle. And voila, there you go. A little snip with a half circle. And you have a pocket. Okay, how's that for you, ladies? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This one here is just like these, which is a you know, two book pages glued together, and then made the pocket. Because I wanted a closure on this one. I wanted, I put glued to the back, which means I took one of these and a book page that's been glued together. Just offset a little bit and trim. Let's get it the right way. Boy, try and do a video and you go crazy. Nothing works. Okay. Oh no, you go over there. So, what I did at this point, after I straighten out my cut, is I will glue this fairly well down 
I gotta remember to leave this glue on the side. It's getting cold here in New England. I hope somebody out there has some nice sunny weather because I know we don't. We definitely do not. Leave the glue on the side. So I glue that. It's that. Right? Make sure it's nice and straight ish. <laughs> If you know my work, I'm not, I like the old beat up look. So some of that is, then I will fold it over. Okay, there's my crocodile. And cut my corners. And then determine how far down I want this to go. Right about there is good. Never throw away anything. Never. I could figure out how to use these for something I would too. So there it is. There's that. Isn't that cute? And if you want, and I will on some of these, use a button closure. I'll put a button here. And I'll take a piece of what I call baby shoelace. It's not. I have a whole bunch of it. And then just wrap it around that way, and then you only have to use one button closure. All right. Thank you. Look at my mess. Hmm.